Serendipitous by Serendipity 3. I've been hunting down today's fragrance for many years, not in an obsessive kind of way, but enough to get me excited when I finally got my hands on a bottle of this here in Japan via the secondhand market. It's only got three notes. There's Tahitian vanilla, bitter orange, and cacao. So you can probably predict what it's going to smell like with decent accuracy. Ugh. Hello, beautiful people. It's your bag and frag hag, Trina. And if you're new here, welcome. I talk about handbags and perfume for the most part. So kindly subscribe if you like that kind of jam with your peanut butter and toast. The heck am I talking about? I know neither the perfumer for this chocolatey, sweet and comforting vanilla scent, nor the year it came out, nor ultimately what house, if any, is responsible for it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think it was actually released in 2005 and it was probably the restaurant that it was named after that's responsible for its creation. And that restaurant is the iconic and overpriced New York City ice cream cafe famous for its frozen hot chocolate sundae or slash drink. Sounds bizarre, yes, probably along the lines of like fried cheese or fried Mars bars, probably tasty AF. And Serendipity is also the name of a 2001 American romantic comedy film starring John Cusack, love him, and Kate Beckinsale. I enjoyed that film but had no idea at the time that the cafe where they met at the start of the film was so famous. The cafe also featured in another movie from the 90s with Michelle Pfeiffer and George Clooney, One Fine Day. The eccentrically decorated ice cream parlor called Serendipity 3 has been around since 1954 and serves up a lot more than just uh, creme glacée apparently. Now I've been to the cafe's website and it doesn't look like they promote or sell the fragrance there. In all honesty, probably the only place that sells it easily for you if you're interested in this is Lucky Scent because let's face it, they sell pretty much everything that's remotely niche. I'd be surprised if they don't have it. This bottle itself has changed over the years. I think the one that uh, you can buy it in now is more cylindrical. I really like this style better. And this means it's probably an older formula. Yes, I've heard they changed the formula for this too. And of course, older is better when it comes to perfume formula. In any case, I am very pleased to finally have this in my hands and on my nose, so to speak. To me, this fragrance is very cozy, warm, and comforting, like hot cocoa with marshmallows by the fire on a cold day when you're feeling down from maybe that type of month or something. Or s'mores by the campfire, maybe. There's this hot and gooey toasted marshmallow sweetness to it that doesn't come quite from the chocolate, but I do get the chocolate in here. It's very literal and linear though, so you feel like you're wearing chocolate, you know? It's not like you're wearing a perfume. There's citrus listed here, but to be honest, it's just a, a few seconds at the beginning and then it's in the background for me, which is sad because I absolutely love Terry's Chocolate Orange and that's what I was hoping I would get out of this and that would bring this to the forefront of a Christmas preferred scent for me. But sadly, I don't really get a lot of orange with this. And in fact, some people don't get a lot of cacao in it either, which I can't really understand. This one is more of a melted vanilla ice cream with lots of maybe chocolate sauce, if you do smell the chocolate. I say melted because the temperature you feel is, it's not ice cream level. It's definitely a warm scent. While it's hard to say no to a vanilla ice cream and chocolate, this fragrance is far from a masterpiece for me. It's not groundbreaking, not particularly original, but it's well done and serves its purpose. I think it pairs particularly well with Palmer's Cocoa Butter, which I highly recommend if you want to be massaged and then devoured by your significant other. I do wish this scent lasted longer though and project more and perhaps was a little more um, complex than what it is. Now, there are a few fragrances out there that uh, bear either a lot or enough semblance to Serendipitous that I cannot help mentioning them in case you really crave other options to get that delicious vanilla and chocolatey vibe. The cheapest one is uh, Al Rehab, uh, Choco Musk. This one's died, I killed it. it 
I dropped it and it broke everywhere and like it's only a few drops left. This is like as cheap as they get retail. You can't get a better price than um, Al Rehab fragrances. This one does live close to the skin, but it's a tad more complex than Serendipitous and perhaps it lasts longer too, but it's again closer to the skin. And it's great for layering with woodsy fragrance. This one is, not as much as Serendipitous, I think. If and when this runs out, which I suspect it will, I'll probably buy um, Al Rehab again in the spray format. Although based on what I've heard about the spray format, it really doesn't last long at all. Another scent that is uh, similar to Serendipity, or, ser or Serendipitous, I should say, is Montal's Chocolate Greedy, which is delicious, but definitely overpriced for what it is. I don't have a bottle of that, but I do have a few um, samples somewhere lying around here. It's, it's tasty. And then there's Amour de Cacao by Comptoir Sud Pacifique, which is super and not too pricey. I've enjoyed a few fragrances over the years from CSP, and actually I think they do a really good coconut if you want to explore that brand. I also hear that the exact Friction of Stars uh, by Pillar and Lucy is close as well, as is Billie Eilish's uh, first fragrance. Yeah, she has a fragrance already. And of course there are more chocolatey fragrances out there, but the ones I've mentioned are indeed apparently, like some of them I can speak from experience, pretty similar to this. Now, strangely, at least to me, there are people that, as I might have mentioned, can't smell any chocolate in this, which I find really honestly difficult to understand. But instead, they get loads of vanilla, and that part I can see. And for that reason, I think Serendipitous might also be a good alternative to pricier vanilla bombs like Guerlain's Spiritueuse Double Vanille, which is amazing, but very expensive and... Um, yeah, I personally wouldn't buy a bottle of it because it's, it doesn't have the um, performance value. Okay, my lovelies, that is it for Serendipitous. I think I can dip into my freezer now for a chocolate-covered ice cream bar because I've worked myself up. <laughs> Hasta luego, fellow fume fans. See you in my next video. Mwah.